Okay, so in this last example, um, again, guys, what, I, what have we noticed? It's the exact same thing over and over. Product rule or chain rule inside product rule, right? It's the same thing. So we just noticed these are a little bit easier to understand. Actually, sorry, this is product rule, and then we have double chain rule. Because in reality, you guys can think of the parent functions. We can rewrite this like this. Sine of 2x squared times cosine of, was it 2x and 2x? Or was it 3x? 2x and 2x. Okay. Really looks like this. So again, when we're doing the chain rule, or when you want to think about the chain rule, think about the most broad function possible as the parent. So you can see that this is the broad function here that I would say would be x squared times x cubed. Forget about what's inside of it. Just understand, would you guys agree with me, those are the most broad functions, right? Then we work into a little bit deeper. Then we look into the child function. Well, the child function is sine of 2x and cosine of 2x, which unfortunately can also have children, which would be the derivative of inside of them, right? Which would be 2 and 2. So we just got to be careful. So this is product rule and double chain rule, OK? So it just adds a couple little more steps. But that's OK. We can handle it. So let's look at taking the derivative of the first function. To take the derivative of the first function, we're going to bring down the 2 times the child function sine of 2x times the derivative of the child function, which is cosine of 2x times the derivative of inside of, um, so derivative of the child function, right? But if we're taking the derivative of the child function, it's going to be cosine of 2x times the derivative now of 2x, which is 2. That is just the derivative of sine of 2x squared. Then the other one is fairly simple. Cosine of 2x uh, cubed plus, we'll have sine of 2x squared. And then here, we're going to do the same thing like we did over there. Again, I'm just going to really focus on parentheses. So in this one, we're going to bring down the 3. I'm just going to put it in parentheses times the inside function, cosine of 2x times um, cosine of 2x sorry, squared, right? Because we this one, we had 1. It was really a 1 up there. Here, we're going to have squared, and then times the derivative of this, which is going to be a negative sine of 2x, times the derivative of inside of that, which is 2. Now, before you get into simplifying or doing anything like that, what we want to make sure we do is simplify each one of these expressions. So let's see what we can multiply and combine over here. Well, I have a 2 and a 2. Yes? This one? I took the, because it was x. Remember I said like the biggest function is x squared? I'm taking the derivative of the first term times the second term, then first term times the derivative of the second term. That was, so it's derivative of the, I'm going to use parent, child, and grandchild. The derivative of the parent child is 2x to the first. Child function is inside there. Derivative of the child function is cosine of 2x. The derivative of the child function is the grandchild, which is 2. It's double chain rule. You have to do chain rule twice. It is. And it's confusing, and it takes a little practice. OK? Um, so maybe what I can do is maybe give you guys you can practice another one. Yes? OK, so when I has that, I don't know what it is. That's just me grouping that as one term. That okay. really doesn't mean anything else. Yeah. That's just saying that is the derivative okay. of sine of 2x squared. So what does that cause? That's the derivative of sine of 2x. Cosine. Yes, you know better. I know. Cosine of, um, to the third power of 2x. What is that? Like, I see it's behind it. Yeah. Remember, guys, chain rule. f of x mm -hmm. times g of x yeah. plus 
f of x times g prime of x. That's f of x, that's g of x. That's f of x, or sorry, that's f prime of x, that's g of x. That's f of x, that's g prime of x, right? Anybody have any other questions before I get to simplifying? All right, um, so let's factor the two times two, we get four. Um, let's see here, I have a cosine of two x times a cosine cubed of two x. So therefore, let's do sine of two x. And then I can multiply that to give me cosine of two x to the, let's put these parentheses, fourth power, right? That's a cosine of two x, that's a cosine cubed of two x. Cubed times one would be cosine of four x. Plus, let's see, we have a two and a three, and we have a negative, so that's gonna be a negative six. I'm just gonna put that in parentheses first. I'll change that to a subtraction, but for right now I don't wanna get confused, so I'm just gonna put in a parenthesis. Uh, let's do sine squared of two x times sine of two x is going to be a sine cubed of two x. Why is that six? Because you have that negative sign. Uh, so in reality, that's really like a negative, right? A negative one right there, right? So therefore, the negative times two times three gives me that. And then I have a cosine squared. All right, so now we have all that information. Now let's factor out what we can factor out. So we notice we have a sine of two x in both of them. And we also can share out a common two. So I'm gonna factor out a two. That's the largest of my two numbers, four and negative six. I can factor out a sine of two x. And I can factor out a cosine, looks like the highest power I can factor out is a cosine squared. So now I'm left with a two, because when I factor out a two there, I'm left with a two. Sine of two x, factor that out. When I factor out a cosine squared, that's gonna leave me with a two, so I'll say cosine of two x squared. Um, when I factor out a two out of this, I get a negative three, so I'll just write minus three. When I factor out a sine of two x from there, that's gonna turn into a squared. So that'd be a sine squared of two x. And then I factored out a cosine of two x, so therefore that just gets a little Yes. Okay, I know it's a lot to internalize, right? Yes? I don't understand how you can factor this. Yes, it